Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will be discussing the second uh, lab program of um, Python software. So in second lab program, it's very easy one. Develop and implement an ACE for program using Yak tools to recognize all strings ending with B preceded by N A using the grammar A power N B. For example, what are the valid strings possible? N A and B, right? This is one of the valid strings. Another valid string is this one. Another valid string is this one. This is also valid string. Okay. So it should end with B. That's compulsory. You can have n number of A's, even zero A's. Okay. So let's see how to identify this thing. Okay. So uh, for that also we have to write two programs. Since it's Yak tool, you have to write the like program as well as the Yak program. This is what you are gonna write two dot L and two dot Y. Some codes here, and then you will be executing as follows. Okay. Same as the previous Yak uh, programs, how you used to execute. Okay. So let's see the code part here. In the code part, you we have first two dot L. Here what we have is the declaration part. Hash include Y dot tab dot H. Just you have to write this one. Okay. Easy, right? And uh, uh, this is the logic part, okay. That's all just the uh, declaration part and the logic part a return a b return b slash n return slash n. This is all that's all what you have to remember, okay. It's very simple. Then, uh, while coming to here, you, since you have to identify a grammar which is a power n b, at that time you start from here. The declaration parts include stdio dot h uh, and std lib dot h. It's a pretty simple one. And after that, what you have is the tokens, which is token A and B, because we are using two tokens for identifying A and B. So, you have to declare tokens A, B. That's the declaration part. And coming to the logic part, after that, we have the main part. And in the logic part, what we have is the input as S slash N, then print if it's a successful grammar. Means if it's an empty input, then we have to output it as successful grammar. Else, if it is having like um, A power N, B, like for example, this is automated here, okay? A, S1, B. A it will return A and S1 and B. So if I uh, input S as A S1 B at that time I will get here as I, uh, another input for S1. So S1 can either be empty or it can be A S1. Again A S1 A S1 A S1. It will keep on continuing to have n number of case. Then uh, finally will be ending with B here. Okay, that's the uh, format for it. So how to remember this case? Start from here. Two header files token A B and uh, here we have the input first S slash and this is all what you have to remember S slash n print a successful grammar. And here we, what we have is AS1, consider it as X mark, AS1, AS1, then B or B, here we have uh, nothing, okay, means semicolon, that's all what to remember, S and S1, okay. And uh, here we have the main function, inside the main function, what we are doing is enter a string, so the string will be entered here, and since it's a YAC program, we'll be writing YY pass instead of YY X, okay. This is all, uh, this is all what is in the um, main program, and for the uh, uh, YAC program, instead of Y by graph will be writing Y by error. Okay, if it's Y by error, then print the error. Okay, that's all what we did in the second program. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next.